Hey guys, in this tutorial video, I'll be showing you how to have objects spawn randomly at a set position. Uh, feel free to download the script below if needed. This video was requested by Charyu Bushabe uh, regarding the prototype video I made a few weeks ago. Uh, starting off, I have a plain 2D scene with just the main camera and a circle image uh, which I'm going to put into the scene. Uh, this circle will be what we randomly spawn each time we click on it. Um, adjust it to how big you want it to be um, and then we're going to add a tag on it uh, that we'll use to reference it. Um, you can name it whatever you want but for the sake of the video I'll just name it enemy circle. After that uh, add a 2D collider onto it um, and a script. Uh, I'm just going to call the script click circle. Again you don't have to go with this name you can name it whatever you want. In this script we're going to move the start method since we don't need it and we're going to add a game object called circle prefab. Uh, then afterwards we're going to add two more variables which are vector 3, one called center and the other one called size. In the update method we're going to create a vector 3 named mouse pause and have that equal to the camera.main.screen to world point and store in the input.mouse position. Uh, then we add a vector 2 called mouse pause 2D and have it equal to vector 2 where it will store the mouse pause.x and the mouse pause.y. Moving on to ray casting, we'll create a ray cast hit 2D and name it hit and have that equal to physics 2D with the mouse pause 2D and vector 2.0 being stored. After that, we'll make a bunch of if statements where it will check if the object you hit with the ray cast is not equal to null. And if it hits uh, the collider.tag, which is enemy circle, then we'll run a separate method, uh, which in my case I named it spawn next circle. In this method, I created another vector3 named pause and had it equal to the variable I created earlier, which was center. And then I just plused the new vector3 that stored random dot range of negative size dot x, uh, and then divided that by 2. Pretty much did that for this uh, y value. And since we're using 2D, I left the z value to 0. Now that's done, we just want to instantiate the circle prefab to the pause we just made and also to the quaternion.identity. To finish off the script, we're just going to destroy the game object once the player has clicked on the circle. Back into the game scene, create a prefab of the circle and drag it into the circle prefab slot in the script. You're going to want to leave the center to all 0, but for the size, I usually go with x being 10 and y being 5. I then just edited the color of the circle so it's noticeable. Now when I press play and click on the circles, it should spawn in different random locations but at a set position. That's pretty much for this week's video. I know this was a short video and kind of rushed, but I promise I'll make it up to you the next two weeks. Thanks for watching and I guess I'll see you in the next one. Peace.